giving and taking, about forging and forsaking, kissing and loving and pushing and shoving, caring and sharing and screaming and swearing, about being together whatever the weather, about being driven to the end of your tether, about sweetness and kindness and wisdom and blindness. It's about being strong when you're feeling quite weak, it's about saying nothing when you're dying to speak, it's about being wrong when you know you're right. It's about giving in before there's a fight. It's about you two living as cheaply as one. You can definitely give us a call if you know how that's done. Never heeding advice that was always well meant. Never counting the costs until it's all spent. And for you two today, it's about to begin. And for all that the two of you had to put in. Some days filled with joy and some days with sadness. Too late you'll discover that marriage is madness. here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Simon Paul Hebson 
and Louise Maria Cooper. Simon and Louise, before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are now about to make. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. I, Simon Paul Hebson. I, Simon Paul Hebson. Take thee, Louise Maria Cooper. Take thee, Louise Maria Cooper. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Louise Maria Cooper. I, Louise Maria Cooper. Take thee, Simon Paul Hebson. Take thee, Simon Paul Hebson. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to care for you with love and friendship. With love and friendship. To support and comfort you. To support and comfort you. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And to remain faithful always. Don't cry. <laughs> and, and remain faithful always. These promises. These promises. I make to you today. I make to you today. And for the rest of my life. And for the rest of my life. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. With love and friendship. With love and friendship. To support and comfort you. To support and comfort you. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And to remain faithful always. And to remain faithful always. These promises. These promises. I make to you today. I make to you today. And for the rest of my life. And for the rest of my life. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our love and marriage. As a sign of our love and marriage. And as an outward sign. And as an outward sign. Of the commitment we have made to each other. Of the commitment we have made to each other. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our love and marriage. As a sign of our love and marriage. And as an outward sign. As, and as an outward sign of the commitment we have made to each other. Of the commitment we have made to each other. Marriage is a promise which you have both taken and has been made in the hearts of two people who clearly love one another. So it is now my privilege and pleasure to declare that you are now legally married, husband and wife, and may share a kiss. joining us on our wedding day. We are actually here. Finally! My mother gave me one piece of advice. Stay away from those Essex girls. And so then, when I moved to London again, walk into our office, see this girl with these big blue eyes. and this accent, and I thought, perfect. <laughs> there were a few language barriers when we first started talking. We actually went for a book signing the other day. Max Boyce being, for anybody who doesn't know, a legendary Welsh singer, especially with rugby union. Um, and the Coops, I, Louise's family, Ben, Vicky, 
Beryl, or you should probably know him if you're here. Um, the Coops came down to stay with us. And the Coops are affectionately known as the Coops in Bath. Um, and so they all came down and stayed with us. And ha when I'm talking about Max Boys, I've never seen someone look so repulsed, <laughs> mortified than Ben when he saw his mother Beryl and Louise belted out and we were singing hymns and arias and of our fathers I need a There's that face. That's the one. <laughs> Hello, my name is Paul. I'm Louise's dad, for those who don't know me. I think you all agree that Louise looks lovely today. Yeah. I'd like to welcome Simon into the family today. So Simon seems to be a very nice chap, and for that I'd like to thank his mum and dad. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit more involved, but it's got a bit misty, I can't see it. <laughs> So also, after three years, you would think we'd have prepared not just my speech, but other things as well. I've already had a few mates over there take the piss out of our version of dancing over there. I've tripped over Louise's dress about 17 times. And I didn't actually realise what bowers we were talking about. Um, hence me saying, I am! <laughs> because and even then, I wasn't sure they were the, the words. Literally three letters and I had to nudge Damon who when he said oh yes that's it with a smirk on his face filled me with more doubt that it's probably not I am thanks Damon excellent best man but fair to say the world has changed somewhat since we well since I proposed which we were trying to work out last night but obviously I knew off the top of my head a couple of years ago I thought, no, hang on, Louise. We're now actually married. <laughs> this replaces the previous best day of my life. Right, so, um, basically, I've known Simon since about year nine, year 10, when he was about 13, 14. I cannot remember a, a word we said between each other until Simon literally turned 18 and he came to you and was like, so put in context, he's a year and two weeks older than me and he came to me, he was 18, I was 16, he was like, should I buy you some alcohol? <laughs> and he keeps doing it and it's really annoying, right? <laughs> One more beer. <laughs> I've been on holiday with Simon quite a lot, so we go and watch a lot of Wales games away. We've been to Edinburgh, Rome, Paris. We've actually been really well, so we've seen like the Colosseum, Edinburgh Castle, Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower. He hated all of them, okay? His favourites were Corcoran's Irish Bar, Shamrock's Irish Bar, <laughs> and Scholar's Irish Bar. We even saw the Pope in the Vatican. He just wanted to go to an Irish bar. Um, <laughs> Can't drink about <laughs> Literally, his words, you know, the Pope's speaking in Latin. I was like, loving it. Um, what's he talking about? Can we just go and drink? 
I can see you're all thirsty. I'm just going to let you go. Before I went to let you go, I just wanted to basically raise a toast to Simon's hero. If you know Simon for about five minutes, you know he sings a lot of songs. He loves this guy who plays the piano. He talks about him all the time. He's seen him in concert. He's seen the film. He's seen everything. And obviously we're talking about his dad, Mike Hebson. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Beryl, thank you so, so much for putting up with us talking about this wedding for about a decade. The cost of taking you to Barry Island, basically rewiring our house. <laughs> Amazing value. Fantastic. We didn't even buy candy floss. Mum and Pete, thank you, thank you, thank you for today. Pete, I know I was in a bit of a mood this morning. I had my eight hours sleep, and I hadn't drunk last night. <laughs> but I was still a bit grouchy. And you drove down with the van, and uh, it sorted an awful lot out, so really thank you for that. And of course, Mum, for saying, do not speak to those Essex girls. Without that, I doubt I'd have bothered you with it. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice to see they've already started a family with the arrival of Chardy. It's often said that a daughter marries a man like her dad. Look at, look at her mum's face. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'd like to welcome, thank you all for coming today and uh, propose a toast to the bride and groom. Mr and Mrs Hebson. Um, but yeah, look, thank you everyone. I can see you're thirsty and you're fed up, so um, yeah, we're all bored, so go and have a drink and love it in the cellar, okay? <laughs> to Simon Louise Hebson and to me. <laughs> My wonderful wife. Thank you so much for the organisation you put in today. I cannot consider most of the things here. I, I, I'm afraid of them right now. So, but however, I think this is reflective of you as a person versus me. Brilliant, kind, considerate, thoughtful, giving, beautiful, and organised. Quite literally the opposite to me. <laughs> and that's why you, even my own family would say, you've massively improved me as a person. And so for that, I thank you. I thank you for being an excellent mother to Charlie the dog. And now, I thank you for being Mrs. Louise Epson. <laughs> To Louise Hepton, clavy on her feet. 